Hi, this is Dr. Don. I have problem 2.1.6 from my stat lab. And it's really a pretty simple problem to solve using stat crunch, although there are a couple of little tricks, and I hate to use the term tricks, just little things you need to know about using stat crunch. I'm going to click on the data table here, and then I'm going to click on open in stat crunch. As you can see, when it opens, the data has the reading levels, which we need, and the number, the counts, but it adds the totals down here. And we don't need those, so just delete those before you try to use the graphing function. Click on graph. We want a bar plot. And this is summary because they've already added up the counts in each of these areas. It's not raw data. So I click on summary. Our categories are in reading level. Our counts are in number. And we want the relative frequency in this particular problem. Default is the order by ascending, and that has to do with the value, which are the categories. And that's what we want for the first chart. But we want to get the value of the relative frequencies displayed above each bar. And then we can click Compute, and we get this first chart there. I'm going to expand it and hopefully you can see a little more clearly. We've got our values there, level 1, 0 0.152, 0 0.264 for level 2, etc. Let me pause this for a second. There, I brought up the MyStatLab problem. And you can see those are the frequencies we need, the relative frequencies we need from 0.152 to 0 0.029. And then we've got the second part, which was construct a relative frequency bar graph, which is putting the values, the categories in order, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which matches that. The next part of the problem, though, says convert it to a Pareto diagram in which we go from the category with the highest count, the most number of counts, to the lowest number of counts. And we can go back into our, our uh, stat crunch chart here click on Options, Edit, and then down here where it says Order By, we want to go by the count descending, going from the largest count to the smallest count, because that's what a Pareto diagram is. I'm going to click on that to select it, click Compute, and it changes our chart. Let me move it again, expand it so you can see it, and we've got the Level 4 would be the first going down to level 6. And if I move it over here and we look at the right answer, there it is, 4, 2, 3, 1, 5, 6. So remember that, that you, you can do a chart and then use the options edit to change it to answer the rest of the questions. And of course, the last question, identify the reading level or the category that occurs most often which obviously is number four. And I'm just going to click there again. There's our level four from the Pareto diagram jumps at it as being the one that has the highest count. So hope this helps.